These are eggplant. This is okra. This is corn. Blake Wisnat knows crops. He grows tomatoes commercially and has since the 50s. We go back to 1903. But when his Ellington farm flooded in 1992, he started looking for alternative ways to sprout his precious crop. I just wanted to see if I could make a box that wouldn't drown. That's the whole, we had 19 inches of rain, it just devastated the crop. He came up with the earth box. The two-foot box is made up of three layers. The soil sits above a trough of water. Most pots have an opening top where you boil, or you fertilize the water from the top and takes the fertilizer down. On this system, we have a seepage system and the water actually comes up from the bottom. Fertilizer is placed in a wedge along the ground. The plants are put in and covered with a layer of plastic. It's water, environment, doesn't matter what type of land I'm on. I can be on a rock, I can be on a roof, I can be on a concrete. The earth box is also getting some global attention. The United Nations now uses the boxes in its program called the Growing Connection. The boxes are used to teach people all over the world how to grow their own food. With a minimum of space, with a minimum of, of water and fertilizer, you can grow food. It, it typifies our mission, and our mission is really to overcome hunger worldwide. As for Wisnant, he hasn't given up on the old-fashioned ways of farming quite yet, but his earth box operation is growing. Permanent system, and I will use nothing but a mowing machine. I'd have permanent stakes in the field. That's what I'm dreaming. That's what I. That's what keeps me going. In Ellington, David Leonard, Tampa Bay's 10 News.